Well, hi, hello, and welcome back to Lego Harry Potter episode... Episode 4? Maybe it's more than 4, I'm not sure. I thought I would walk a bit to the place where we probably have to go for this mission already before actually starting the recording, but it seems like we're gonna have to do a lot of shit before we actually get there. But yeah, this is episode, I don't know which episode it is, but it doesn't really matter as long as we are all having fun. Looks like we're gonna have to make a potion over here, but first of all, I'm gonna try and get some of these studs. Alright, so we lumosed up all the plants and they released all of the little pieces that we need for this thing that we're making in the middle. No idea what it's gonna be, but... Looks like, looks like one of those, those gyro things. I don't know if that's exactly the right term, but something that you like spin around and the middle keeps the same. Oh, I get it. I get it. We're not strong enough to do this. So that's why we need to make the potion. It's a strength potion, but we need some more ingredients for that. We already found this one, but I'm not sure where we're going to find the other ones. Oh, well, these ones had one of the ingredients in them and I can just hit that. So I guess I should just be able to hit that plant up there as well. But I, I just missed or something. Wow. Well, all right. Or maybe you had to do them in a certain order. I don't know. But anyway, we did finish our potion now. And I think it's just going to be giving us a little bit of strength so that we can pull that lever kind of thing. I don't know if this is actually classifies as a lever but it's some kind of mechanism anyway so yeah it's saturday normally not a day that i record on oh we missed some hidden coins maybe normally not a day that i record on but i had to work on friday which is also another day that i normally work on but i have a pretty pretty packed schedule this weekend so friday was the only day that was available to me to to go to work oh would you look at that we're on the the bridge it's already destroyed what is this like the last movie already or something Get some studs and i'll just move along a bit and meet you guys when i reach some significant parts again all right so now we're really outside the castle and we're already getting beaten up by some random plants thing and there's a beetle looking ass over here as well what's this golden pot all about you can't use gold cauldrons until you've learned how to make a polyjuice potion all right so that's one of those potions that makes you transform into someone else those get used a lot in the movies, of course. For example, in the in the second movie, when they're trying to get into the Chamber of Secrets, they try to get some information about that by going into the 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 the, the Slytherin the Slytherin. What am I looking for? Common rooms, and they transform into some of Malfoy's friends for that. And Hermione transforms into a cat, of course, as you all know. Oops, I'm sorry. Now, a thing I really am starting to notice about these games is that a lot of the game actually takes place outside of, like, the specific missions. It's just randomly running around all of the time. And I don't really mind that, but it makes it really difficult to find out, like, what content I need to include in what episode and where I need to stop the recording and where I need to stop talking. What the hell is happening? I guess we still need to learn like a spell or something to control these uh, these guys over here. With these small blue things because for now nothing I can do against them seems to have any effect. Well, look at that scarecrow over there. It's pretty cool. There's so many collectibles in this game. Not consumables, collectibles. Why does this stone have gum stains on it? Alright, so I think that we have now done almost everything that we can do in this area. Pretty sad that we don't get to meet up with Hagrid again, but he will surely appear in the future again in the story. Uh, we're, looks like we're making our way to the Quidditch field, so is there gonna be like a Quidditch match going on? That would be interesting. We unlocked Katie Bell. I think she's the, the student gets, that gets like cursed in the Health Blood Prince. Is it the Health Blood Prince? I think so. She has like this package that she picks up for, um, which was supposed to be for Dumbledore, but I think she gets poisoned, not poisoned, cursed by it. All right, and we're going to get onto the roof by our buddies lifting us up there. And there's this ball thing here. Oh, that looks like it's rolling really slow. What is this going to do? Oh, we probably needed to do that because that, that it looked like that was the actual ball that we need to play Quidditch. And we get another golden brick. 
I don't think I'm paying that much attention and I really really want to get all the consumables for now maybe I will come back in the future and try to do that but oh, I do still wonder what the hell is going on with this guy over here like how do we help you uh -huh, uh -huh. is this gonna do something what the isn't that music like copyrighted can they just use it like that that flew through the scenery a bit as well. Let's just get into this Quidditch match finally. Let's see if we can catch the Golden Snitch, which is our function as the Seeker, of course, as I explained last time. Here we go. Let's hope no one will curse our broom, right? Alright, calm down there, Mr. Show Off. And it's over, the game's finished. Oh, here they make it even more clear that the guy that's actually casting the curse is uh, the the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Instead of Snape, who's actually casting a counter curse. Now again, there's gonna be a lot of spoilers for the story if you haven't seen the movies yet, but that's not my fault, that's your fault. Why is there already a portrait of Harry though when this is his first game as a Quidditch player? That's a bit, bit stupid. Jesus Christ. That kind of actually scared me. So Ron can't, just can't even go up with brooms. And Hermione probably can neither. So why did she do that? <laughs> I wish we had like the Accio spell that could just pick up the coins for us. Because this is such a tedious process each time around. Okay, so there's going to be a scabbers pipe right here. Which we, are, have, which we have to make ourselves. Interesting. There we go, and then this part needs to go up here, and now we can let our favorite red cross through here. Oh, wrong button. Now again, for the 50th time, I'm just collecting studs right now, so I, I don't know if I should actually be providing commentary over this part or not. It's so difficult for me to find the balance between what's gonna be enjoyable and what's not. For now though, the thing that's gonna be enjoyable is trying to get this thing right in there right in there there we go and then the blue piece is the ps the resistance that we use to finish this staircase off with oh another one of those bookcases huh so moon potion hat stars moon potion hat stars what does this give us again just some studs or does it actually give us some something meaningful oh this time around it gives us something actually meaningful we needed that to progress oh there's a little something underneath the stairs right there is that something we can get with scabbers look at us i th i thought for a second we just unlocked harry what is this guy up here all about oh he's preventing us from going here for some reason does he prevent scabbers from going there as well oh no he <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, so we could just hit that, but I, I apparently missed for some reason. Oh, I think we missed... <laughs> I think we missed one of those paintings that we could hit earlier as well. No idea who that is on that painting, but... Wow, Harry must be so nauseous. He has been, like, swinging around like that, being cursed for the past five minutes. Moon, star, head, potion. Moon, star, head, potion... This one gonna do something meaningful as well? Yeah, so I guess maybe they always do something meaningful, huh? And it's a pretty powerful message, of course. Reading a book, gaining knowledge, always meaningful. Because it's a book case, you know? You know what I mean? You, you get what I'm saying? And these red kind of sparkles, I think that's still something that you have to do with like a bad wizard in free play. I don't think we have unlocked a single bad wizard for now though. And I guess we won't do that pretty quickly if we can like follow the story a bit. Because I don't think we need very many bad wizards in, in this part of the story. 
And some might say, well, you meet Snape, right? He's a dead eater, but man, oh man. Are you gonna be deceived when you finish the movie? Snape being a bad guy. It's disgusting for you to even say that. Oh, here we go. And there we go. Now Harry can finally get back into the game. <laughs> Where's the snitch? Oh, it's not in his mouth. Okay. Level complete. There we go. We completed the Quidditch match and the setup to disrupt the curse that was bothering Harry, I guess. We only got one house Chris, which is no no big deal, but it's a bit sad. We didn't get this at all, even. Not even close. Wait, we were really close. Well, that's sad, but okay. Doesn't matter. We're not going for the studs, we're not going for the collectibles, we're going for the story and we're going for the fun. And I had fun this episode, and I hope you guys had fun as well. And I hope you're looking forward to the next one as much as I am. Continue the story, which is not gonna matter because I'm gonna have to do some schoolwork now first. No, first I'm gonna have to do the editing because this video needs to go up in like 3 hours. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, which is probably gonna be uploaded the day after this one. So it's actually gonna be tomorrow because I don't really have a backlog anymore. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye bye